What's up, Mikey? Hey, Trey. How's it going, man? It's going. How about you? <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here, man. Hey, look. Uh, I can't stay too long because I'm in the middle of the review for Solo. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, you remember that scene where the Marauder unmasks herself? Yeah, I, I, I remember her. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell is that? Well, well, she was kind of a WTF bomb dropped on fans of the franchise. Um, as far as everybody knows or, or remembers, you know, Mon Martha and and the main rebels are were kind of the founding members of of the Rebel Alliance. Mm-hmm. Um, but since kind of Rebels, the animated series kind of showed that um, there were different cells that made up what we know of as the Rebels, it kind of has opened the door for other people to, to, and other groups to kind of come in. Main thing was, as far as uh, I- I extending or adding more to the canon, would probably be, you know, the statement of it's fuel enough for a fleet. So. The whole premise and the whole end result of this entire movie was that the fuel that uh, the Rebel fleet needed to, to launch a full-scale kind of assault against the Empire that we saw in Rogue One and then later on in, in New Hope and all. Um, there you go, Han Solo, he, uh, he was the guy that delivered the goods. Um, other than that, there's not a lot known um, uh, empirically about her. Um, however, uh, kind of a neat thing that happened was that in the novelization of Solo, um, there's a scene kind of post the movie where uh, she meets up with uh, Saul Guevara and Jin, a, a very young Jin, um, and there's a there's a encounter and a discourse between them, um, which I thought was kind of an interesting kind of tie-in from from what I've read about it. Unfortunately, I've not read the read the book. Um, but uh, the neat, neat, some of the neat stuff that you can get from the uh, the, the National Quiet Inquirer side of things with, with Star Wars universe, how always has to tie back into the, the family, the family kind of thing. Because you know, Star Wars being all the St- Skywalkers, everybody know wants to know who's related to who. It's you know, like uh, the galaxy far, far away of Game of Thrones. Um, and so the family ties gossip kind of going on right now with with her is that uh maybe just maybe darth maul is her father not so sure about that but this kind of goes back to her uh staff fighting kind of thing and kind of leading off of that staff fighting as well is that maybe she could be ray's mother um so everybody's saying hey look at the way she fights you know she's strong she she's underground she kind of writes her own rules she fights with the staff uh, maybe she's Darth Maul's uh, daughter. Maybe she's Ray's mom. You know, something kind of along with that. But otherwise, I think this is something that's going to need another movie, maybe, or some other kind of uh, in-between uh, series for them to, to explain more out of. Okay. Okay. All right, man. I got it now. Later, man. All right. Thanks, man. I'll talk to you later.